Hello, my name's Jerry Grayson and uh, I spent uh, many years flying as a rescue pilot in the Royal Navy. So most of my flying was done either in uh, Cornwall, which is down in the southwest corner of England, or from aircraft carriers where we used aircraft like this, the Wessex, um, for search and rescue work. So this is the machine we used for, for all of the rescues at that time. As you can see, it's a big helicopter, uh, only one engine down the front on this, the Mark I, and then we moved to the Mark V, which had two engines. Very powerful machines, very big machines, about 13 people you can pick up in the back. Most of the stories in my book are about teamwork. Three people, the pilot, here a winch operator, and down on the wire, a diver. And as you can see from my position up there, there's no way that I can see all the way down to where the uh, diver is unless I really crane my neck out of the cockpit. So I'm relying the whole time on the, on the crewman in the rear door here, talking, telling me to move a little forward, a little back, a little right, a little left, and keeping me informed about what the diver's doing on the, on the end of the wire. I'm about uh, six foot high, the aircraft's about 10 foot high, and we would normally hover about 15 feet above the sea. But on the day of uh, the Fastnet race, the waves from the bottom to the top were about 40 feet. So to me, out at the front, they appeared like mountains that I was about to fly into. The problem with picking somebody up from a yacht is of course that it has a mast which is whipping around from side to side as the waves go through and uh, therefore if you tried to lower the diver onto the yacht he would get swatted like a fly. The problem on the fastnet was here was a crew of people on a yacht who I had to ask to jump into the water one by one but be sure that I could pick them up. So buy the book, read the stories and hopefully you'll be as surprised with some of those as I was just after the end of my naval career when my name appeared in the New Year's Honours list and I went to Buckingham Palace to receive the Air Force Cross.